Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, it looks kind of dark today. Uh, I've been busy week. But we are going to finish OWAP's Top 10 2021 Part 2. It was a long video. Uh, we're still in Learning Paths wet fundamentals and yeah so we're halfway let's get right into it already got my machine we have split wheel so start machine the attack box let's get to task 13 number six vulnerable and outdated components as always guys i recommend to read all the tasks so you get a full understanding what uh this room is all about so task 13 answer your questions below you just need to read about the vulnerability so let me make this bigger a little bit then task 14 vulnerable and outdated components exploit so it just talks about different exploits, remote code execution. We're going to come back and answer questions below. Just read the above. Then task 15, vulnerable and outdated components. It's the lab version. So let's go to show split. Navigate to the link. Yours might vary where you find vulnerable application. All the information you need to exploit can be found online. Answer the questions below. What is content of slash op slash flag dot text file? I just want to make sure my mic is on. Okay. So hint, you know it's bookstore application you should check for recent on updated bookstore amps rces okay let's change this to 84 so it's bookstore let's go to exploit db okay let's type bookstore exploit Let's see so the first one pops up ex exploits and it's allow cookies and you just need to download this so it's on root so web 47887pi py so let's go to open linux Actually, you can see I was already working on it. Let me exit this. And I just want to make sure it's there. So as you can see, the script is there. So let's try Python, follow the example. Let's try 47887.py. It gives an error. The following arguments are require URL. So let's fix it again. Let's run. And actually, the website. So copy that and paste. All right. Uh, all right, let's see. Do you wish to launch a show here? Yes. Then there's RCE. So we want to, it says, what is the content? So you want to read it, which is cat. That's the Linux command. Then op flag dot txt. There you go, guys. That's answer THM, but it's not my fault. All right. 
task 15 is done. Task 16, number seven, identification on authentication failures. Talks about brute force attacks, use of weak credential, weak session cookies. Answer your questions below. I understood broken authentication mechanism. So just read through that. As you know, guys, this video is just showing you how to answer these questions. So that's um, read on your own time. So task 17, identification, authentication failure is practical. So it's a practical. All right. Let's uh, answer the question. What was the flight you found Darren's account? To see this action, go to this link. So it's 808. And try to register with Darren. Okay. Register. Darren, uh, I'm gonna put my email address. Gmail.com. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Say the user is already registered. You'll see that the user already registered. So try to register Darren. As you can see, guys, there's a space right here. Instead, you see now log in and see the content present only in Darren's account. So let's try again. Register this time space Darren. All right. All right. It says register successfully. That's space Darren. Check. Oh, guys, and that's the flag. And this is now try to do the same trick and see if you can log in as author. Okay, log out, register, see author. Try again, register. Author and sign in. There you go, guys. That's another one. All right, let's move on to task 18, number eight software and data integrity failures. So, talks about integrity, talks about MD5, MD5 sums, SHA1 sum. And ask your questions below, just read above and continue. So it talks about file encryption. Task 19, software integrity failures. And let's get to the question. Ask your question, what is the SHA 256 hash of this web link? So let's copy, hint, remember you can use SRIHash.org to calculate integrity of hash. So there's a link right here. And you just paste 256 hash it. And what's the hash? So that's the end of SHA 56. Cool. All right, guys, that was simple. Again, read through these tasks. Task 20, data integrity failures. So it talks about token, JSON web tokens. And let's get right to it. Let's see, it sounds pretty simple. Let's walk the process, navigate. All right, let's see another thing. Okay, so cookies for all. Try logging in application as guest. What is guest account password? So let's try guest. I don't know what's the password. Hello, and it says invalid credential. You can also log in as guest with password guest. Okay. There you go. It says when your login was successful, you should have a JWT star as a cookie in your browser. Press F12 to bring out developers tool. So let's try guest. Guest. 
And it says, hello guests, only the admin user is allowed to get the flag. And it says source code, right? So let's inspect and let's expand this. As you can see, it's a storage and cookies. So storage and cookies. All right, there's a Firefox version and then there's the Chrome version. So whatever you use and it says, what is the name of the website cookie containing JWT token? So it talks about the cookie containing JWT. So it is JWT session. Use the knowledge gain this task and modify JWT token so the application thinks you're are the user admin. Okay, so you scroll back. So you scroll back up says uses online to take encode and decode 64. So let's close this. Close this. So basics for encoder decoder. Let's go back to our attack box and you see this value. Double click, control C to copy. And I think you need to decode this. So, or encode. It says, try to change it to admin. Okay, actually use this right here. Never mind. I think it should be decode string attached invalid. Let's try. Okay. So as you read this. Uh, Plain text encode, it's combination of header, payload, and signature, but we only need the header and the payload. So it changed to none and admin. So we just copy and paste the encoder, this first part right here. So that's the header and we need the payload. So let's do one by one. Let's copy this. And it wants none. Okay. So let's copy this. Uh, clipboard it. And delete the equal sign and put a period. So. Shouldn't done that. Let me do this again. There you go. Period. All right. I think I messed up again. So let's see. Yep. Let me copy again. Paste. Period and paste again. Okay, so we got the header, so the payload now, which is this one. Try again, decode, so guess, copy this, encode, and delete guess, and put admin. And you got the output of base64. So you copy, paste in the clipboard in the attack box. Delete the two equal signs, put a period. And that should be it. 
Okay, so this should work when you refresh it. And that's it, guys. Teach him don't take cookies from strangers. Copy and paste. Awesome. All right, task 21, number nine, security logging and monitoring failures. Uh, this one says put this knowledge practice by analyzing the provided sample log file. You can download it by clicking download task files. Button at the top of the task, answer your questions below. What IP address is the attacker using? Hit check for common actions, a short sequence of time. So this one, you just download the file. As you can see, I already have it. Um, I'm gonna delete, delete, and open this one up. All right, this one should be very simple. What IP address is the attacker using? And it should be this one because it's authorized four times. All right, what kind of attack is being carried out? What do you call a trying combination of usernames and password to gain access to your user account? So just by the different accounts, you kind of deduce to brute force. Yep. Task two, number 10, server side request forgery, SSRF. All right. So this one, practical example, navigate to another new link. Let's close this out. Okay, let's close the source and where you find simple web application after ex exploring a bit, you should see admin area, which are main objective. Follow the instructions on the following questions to gain access to website restricted area. Explore the website with only hosts allowed to access the admin area. Try to access the admin area. Can you find any useful information in the error messages? And it says event interface only available from local hosts. So local hosts. Okay, let's go back. And it says check the download resume button. What does the server parameter point to? So let's inspect it. And I'm just gonna right click and copy. So it's this one, servers file storage. So server equals secure file storage.com. Um, .com. There we go. Next question, use SSRF, make the application send a request to your attack box instead of the secure file storage. Are there any API keys intercept requests? Okay, so, so it talks about rerouting. All right, let's go to expand. I'm gonna put the same thing like that one, so. This is going to be ncnetcat-lvp, listen, instead of 80, it's going to be the website, 8087. So it's listening. Okay, so. What I'm gonna do is, remember when we copy and paste from the inspected, I'm gonna, so download server. Now it talks about attack box instead of the secure. So it's gonna be this one. So I believe is 10.10.101.47. So that's my attack box right here, 10.10.101.47. 10. 
you go back scroll up so it talks about server parameter and see right here server attack dot tgm message so with this formula this should work yeah there you go so send to a top box and that's the key teach him hello i'm just an api key copy and paste and yeah there you go then it says go the extra mile there's a way to use ssrf to gain access to sites admin uh can you find it you only need this flag to progress in the room you are expected to do some research so you just you can do this if you want i'm just gonna click complete and task 13 what's next and just why not enroll in our beginner level pathway or final room complete read the above and below and that's it guys uh you can share your work batch twitter facebook and linkedin and uh yeah looks like i already did this room already give a thumbs up if you like this video hit the subscribe button notification button uh this past week i only uploaded one video been a busy week but yeah if you like this video uh comment below and let me know uh this help uh help you guys answer these questions uh just letting you know guys i do not have uh, it experience right now background but i am it come to i certify in a plus cysa plus network plus pen test plus and security plus and that's it guys thanks for watching and see you next one man not really good but all right